Hello, I'm Dr. Monica Jetty, Consultant Physician in Pace Hospitals, uh, Hitech City. Today, we are here to discuss about thyroid gland, its functions and disorders of thyroid gland. Thyroid is the largest endocrine gland which is present in the front of the neck. Uh, these are the endocrine glands are the organs which are responsible for the release of hormones which helps in daily metabolism and uh, basal metabolic rate etc. So thyroid gland is of one such of an endocrine gland which is responsible for the release of hormones such as uh, thyroxine and triiodothyronin. So any condition that affects the function of the thyroid gland and production of the hormone are called thyroid disorders. So thyroid disorders can be divided into several groups. Hyperthyroidism is a condition where the hormones, thyroid hormones are present excessively in the bloodstream. It can be due to various causes like goiters or uh, hyperactive thyroid gland or etc. Whereas in hypothyroidism where the hormone production is uh, lesser than the daily requirement of the individual causing to decrease in the hormone levels. It can also be thyroid disorders can also be seen in cases like thyroid cancers or etc. But there are other situations where the thyroid function tests are different and uh, abnormal but without any clinical or any manifestations presenting by the individual. These are called subclinical hyper or hypothyroidism. Hyperthyroidism is a condition where the gland is hyperactive resulting in excessive production of the thyroid hormone than the required. Whereas in hypothyroidism the gland is underactive and the gland is not able to produce the required amount of thyroid hormones. So disorders of the thyroid gland uh, can be due to various things. So in cases of hyperthyroidism, the most common uh, the disorders are Graves' disease, toxic adenomas and thyroid cancers or pituitary uh, malfunctions. Whereas in hypothyroidism, it can be due to uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis where it is an autoimmune condition affecting the production of thyroid hormone or uh, any postpartum states or any inflammation inflammatory reactions causing damage to the thyroid gland resulting in lesser production of the thyroid hormone. Risk factors of the thyro hypothyroidism are women are at higher risk when compared to males. Pregnancy is also one of the major risk factors uh, adding to the hypothyroidism uh, spectrum and other uh, disorders like familial genetical abnormalities causing uh, familial hypothyroidism or any radiation to the neck and head causing damage to the thyroid gland resulting in hypothyroidism or any pituitary malfunctions resulting in the hypothyroidism. much iodine consumption is one of the major risk factors in hyperthyroidism. The Most of the iodine content is usually seen in fishes like cod, tuna and also in uh, foods like seaweed etc. And uh, any autoimmune disorders is also a risk factor for hyperthyroidism. Familial history of uh, hyperthyroidism also adds up for the risk for uh, hyperthyroidism. Signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism are different in different kinds of people. The common signs and symptoms include dry and brittle hair, dry skin, excessive nervousness, excessive sweating, increased bubble movements, prominent eyes which is sensitive to light and weight loss are the common symptoms seen in cases of hyperthyroidism. Usually in cases of hypothyroidism, the symptoms can be mild and non-specific. The most common symptoms where we see are weight gain and uh, puffiness of the face, irregular menstrual cycles, loss of hair, dry skin and also any reduced reduction in the sweating etc. Several complications can be seen in patients which are not being treated for thyroid disorders. The most common thing includes effects in the heart, dyserythritemias and in the serious conditions like where the patient may land up in myxedema coma also. So thyroid disorders can be tested by 
evaluating the proper medical history and also the drug history of the patient, physical examination of the thyroid gland and sending for a thyroid function test which include T3, T4, thyroid TSH which is a thyroid simulating hormone, ultrasound of the neck to see the size or if there are any nodules on the neck and radioactive uptake scan of the thyroid gland where we induce a radioactive iodine which will enable us to see if there are any nodules or any growths on the thyroid gland. In a normal adult, the, no the normal T3 levels range from 80 to 220 nanogram per deciliter. T4 ranges from 8 to 12 microgram per deciliter and TSH rain rain can range from 0.5 to 5 milli international unit per liter. The treatment options available for thyroid disorders mainly depends upon the severity of the disease, kind of thyroid disorder and also on the individual himself or herself. So, if in cases of hyperthyroidism, we use uh, medication to reduce the overactive uh, hyperthyroid gland where we reduce the production of the thyroid hormone. Uh, drugs like carbamazole and methimazole are used and in cases where the thyroid gland is hyperactive and is producing symptoms such as nervousness, anxiety, palpitations, beta blockers can be used. In cases of eye diseases, we can use uh, tear drops, artificial tear drops and also steroid, corticosteroid tear drops in some cases. But in severe cases where the eye disease is very severe that surgery is the only option. And if the hyperthyroidism condition is not being corrected or not being responsive to the medication given, surgical correction of the disorder can also be done. In cases of hypothyroidism, hormone production is less than the required amount. So, we try to give it from the outside like we give thyroxine from the outside and the dosages can start from 25 microgram per day to whatever the amount may be required by the individual and usually after taking the tablet it should be taken on empty stomach and after taking the tablet the patient should not drink or eat food for at least 45 minutes to 1 hour. Surgical removal of thyroid gland is called thyroidectomy. In cases where the thyroid disorders are not being responsive to the treatment, surgical intervention is required. It can be of different ways where we can, uh, it can be either partial thyroidectomy where we remove only one particular part of a thyroid gland or can be a total thyroidectomy where the entire thyroid gland is removed. In cases of total thyroidectomy, it is recommended that the patient should be kept on thyroxine tablets too as the gland is not present to produce any hormone. Thyroid disorders are not generally preventable, but by following certain measures, the incidence or occurrence of uh, thyroid disorders can be reduced. So, the measures include iodine-rich diet, exercise, cessation of smoking and reduction in the alcohol consumption, avoiding stressful environment, avoiding the exposure to radiation, etc. Thyroid disorders are hereditary. Hereditability studies suggest that 67% of total thyroid hormone and TSH are genetically determined. So, the genetical comp uh, part play plays a major component in getting a thyroid disorder. Autoimmune or Hashimoto's hypothyroidism is an autoimmune condition where the antibodies directly attack the thyroid gland cells, thereby causing inflammation and reduction in the production of the thyroid hormone. Women are uh, more prone to get thyroid disorders than compared to men. Usually 1 in 8 women have thyroid issues. The, it can be due to the interplay between thyroid hormones and menstrual hormones like estrogen and progesterone.
प्रेगनेंसी इज मेजर रिस्क फैक्टर फॉर हाइपर थायरॉइड हाइपर और हाइपोथायरॉयडिज्म वुमेन विद थायरॉयड डिसऑर्डर्स मे फेस डिफिकल्टीज सच एज दे माइट हैव फर्टिलिटी इश्यूज और इट कैन बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर देम टू कंसीव इवन आफ्टर कंसीविंग इट इज एडवाइजेबल फॉर द वुमेन टू अंडरगो कंटिन्यूअस एंड रेगुलर मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ द थायरॉयड फंक्शन बाय गिविंग ब्लड सैंपल्स फॉर थायरॉयड फंक्शन टेस्ट टू अवॉइड एनी डिस्क्रिपेंसीज इन द हार्मोन सच एज टू अवॉइड डिफिकल्टीज फॉर द बेबी इन इन केस ऑफ डिफेक्ट्स इन ऑर्गेनोजेनेसिस और डिफेक्ट्स इन डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ ऑर्गेन्स और टू अवॉइड अनसेन सर्कमस्टांसिस लाइक सडन अबॉर्शन एक्सेट्रा Drugs like lithium, amiodarone, and phenytoin play a role in hampering with the thyroid hormone production, and they may lead to hypothyroidism.